do miracles so great. There is no one else like you. There is no one else like you. For you are great. God, we thank you for this morning. We are grateful for the opportunity to gather at your presence. We know that you who has begun a good work in us, Lord, you will bring it to completion. We pray, Adonai, that you take over and continue with your move in the mighty name of Jesus. Even as we hear your word, Lord, May you touch our heart. May you touch our soul. And may you transform us in the name of Jesus. May we not live here the same. For your word declares that the entrance of your word giveth life. And understanding to the simple. As we simplify ourselves. We presented ourselves in simplicity. We pray Lord. That may the light that will come from your word. That illumination. Show us the way we're supposed to go. Show us the way we're supposed to walk. Show us the way we're supposed to climb. And at the end thereof, Lord, we know that glory will be given to you. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. And may all the say, say amen. amen. We thank God for this day. Oh, no, you can clap. If you want, you can clap. Clap unto the Lord. We thank God for today. We thank God for today. Amen. We thank God for today. Without wasting any more time, we want to call the man of God today. We have our evangelist in our mail. He just passed by. He just wanted to say hello to us. So we'll give him the, the, the podium to preach the word of God. An exhortation and I know that thou will help you. Without wasting my time, just let's invite or to the podium evangelist coach. Very keys. Amen. Thank you very much. Hallelujah. Happy New Year. I thought this is the last Sunday. Maybe this year, the first first month of the year, I would like to come over here, but I didn't get an opportunity. Last week there was an opportunity, but it was a bad weather. And today I got an opportunity, so that's why I show up over here myself. Unexpectedly, praise the Lord. And uh, thank you for receiving me. And uh, thank you for having me over here on the Sunday service. And um, I have a word for you today, a word for the church. And one who is listening online and Facebook and YouTube, listeners and one who is in the church. And uh, I'm greeting all of you in the matchless name of Lord Jesus Christ. Lord may bless you and uh, Lord may keep you blessing all this come this year. And uh, my title of this today's message is Take the Spare Part. Okay. Um, I made a different title and the title is uh, Take the Spare Tear. And this year will be overflowing. Amen. Take the spare tire. Everybody says, take the spare tire. Take the spare tire. You know what? Wherever we go in the long trip, long trip, what we have to do? Check your car. Mm -hmm. Everything very well. And take spare tire, very good or not. Yeah. You know, every time when I go to Dallas, now I do check everything. Mm -hmm. And uh, if... We don't know what is happening, bumper or uh, rack or whatever it happens. We have to spare something, right? 
What do you mean? It means you are expecting some something happening in the Bible road. Uh-huh. So that is the life of everybody. Yes. We have expect something all the time, but we have to spare something. You have to take with you. Yes. Well, whatever you you take the money with you or credit card with you. You take sp- something spare when you go uh-huh. in a long trip. Is that right or no? That's right. It's absolutely true. Uh-huh. Praise the Lord. Uh-huh. And also we are living in a house and we always kept something spare for the food, even the food, whatever, you will we keep something spare. Uh-huh. Money or matter. Okay, whatever in the bag, all of the sudden you cannot go to the bank. You will keep some money spare in your hand. Cash, a little bit. Not too much. We don't know what is the next today is going to happen. Uh-huh. And this is the way the life is going on. Yes. Everybody know. Everybody expecting, you know, even though it's not come, but there is a problem in front of us. Uh-huh. Every time. When you ask the problem is not, you know, not hit you in your life, when was that day? day? You can you say that? You can you say that? All the life, we have some kind of problems in our everybody's life. So what we have to do? Take something spare. Okay, so I am going to share with you today. Somebody take the spare thing when they are alive. Amen. Okay, so then only you can see the overflow. Amen. This year, this month, you know, I am so happy, and that this new year, um, you know, my life is flourishing. Man. Um, it's a flourishing means it's, it's a great kind of reflection. Flourishing. Yes. That is my life. Man. Every year, every year, every time. And that is, that is, I'm expecting all the time. You also expect something great thing is going to happen. Amen. Flourish and overflowing your Man. life. One thing you have to think about it. Read, can you read Proverbs chapter 3, verse 9 and 10? Proverbs chapter 3. Uh-huh. The verse number 9 uh-huh. and the verse number 10. Uh-huh. I think the verse number 9. Okay. From the King James Version. Honor the Lord with thy substance uh-huh. and with the first fruit of all thine increase. Uh-huh. The verse number 10. So shall thy bonds be filled with plenty, and thy presses shall burst out with wine. Amen. Okay. Yeah. I'm every year, every year, since 1998 onwards, after I saved, in 1996 I saved, October 1998, uh, somebody preached about the first fruit. First fruit. Not from our church, from, uh, from the radio. Uh-huh. Um, and the television preaches a preaching about the tithe and the fried fast fruit. On that time, I decided my younger age, my little, when I was little, my grandfather, my grandmother, and my father, my mother, they always give us to take the fast fruit to the church. You know, the Orthodox Church, yes. they always does uh-huh. that. And uh, I know when a, a cow. Uh, 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 produce a little cu- calf, calf yeah. up, and uh, this is the first one and they will take, take it to the uh-huh. church you, even goat take it to the church and the chicken man, uh, bring them eggs will take it to the uh, church uh-huh. and uh, you know, the vegetable grow and the first fruit we take it to the church that is the uh, way we learn in my life then after I, my growing up, I forgot about all these things. Jesus. I forgot everything. And uh, even tithes. I never give the tithes. I earn more money. My, my brothers and uh, we four brothers, we went to the Middle East and making more money. About three of my brothers and uh, myself, my great, my, my elder brother, myself and my younger brother. We both in Saudi Arabia, we making more money. We, my mother said, oh, my, my sons, you have to send the tithes to the church. And we, we decided to not give any tithes to the, any money to the mother and she will give it to the pastors 
and they will give you their food and we don't want to spend the money for nothing. You know, my brothers and myself, my, my great grandfather's property, we have it, all gone. And whatever we learned, we, 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 we made the money, that's all gone. We never ever, three of us, and the fourth, fourth one also, never enjoy our life with the forefathers' inheritance. And our inheritance, we, we prepare it. You know why? Because we did not accept the, God, the law of the Lord. We, when you follow the, uh, the, the law of the Lord, that's not the law of Moses. The law of the Lord is very important. Not the Moses law. The law of the Lord is very important. When you follow the instruction, you will have everything. But what do you have to do? You have to spare the things. What I do is every month, every year, one week salary, my wife and myself, one week salary, we spend it for the Lord's work. Every year. Since then, I never ever have any lack. I am overflowing everything, overflowing. So yesterday, day before yesterday, I went to my son's house because he given me a new phone this year, this new, new year's present. New year, you know, I don't know. This is a big one. And he given to me and it's, it's not working. And I was preaching in the, uh, at the home. He said, Baba, you bring it fast. I want to fix it. Okay, right now, I'm on the phone with the AT and So I get there and I saw, I, went, I was talking, he fixed the phone. Uh -huh. And he given me the wallet with that one. Uh -huh. And everything. And he fixed it. Uh, my, when I saw my, my, my grandchildren, I was so happy to see after the because of the cold, nobody could show up. I was so glad. And I said, I said, my wife, can we bring the children over here? She said, I'm not feeling well to bring to them. So I want, I'm so flourished with the, my grandchildren. And because of the, uh, the happy, the joy is the joy of the Lord in my heart. Amen. Unspeakable. So what you have to do is, when I giving the money to the church and the people, what is that doing? What is that doing? I'm making overflowing my life. Do you, do you, do you give God gladly? The overflow will come. Everybody want overflow in their life. Okay. Now take the spare tear. Everybody says take the spare tear. This is very important. When we go to uh, First Samuel, book of First Samuel, chapter 17. First Samuel, chapter 17, verse 17. You know the story of Goliath. I don't want to explain about the Goliath. I don't want to talk about the David and Goliath. That's not the, my, my, my matter. My matter is the spare, take the spare chair. Praise God. Okay, can you read that portion? 1717. Uh -huh. The verse number 17. Uh -huh. And Jesse said unto David, uh -huh. Son, take now for thy brethren an ephah of this parched corn and egg these ten loaves and run to the camp to thy brethren. Amen. Did I continue? Yeah, no, 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 no. Took this one. David, David was in the field, with the looking, taking care of the sheep. Uh -huh. Okay. The battle is going on in uh, uh, Saul, Saul and his group. His battle is going on, and forty days is happening. The light is coming, and uh, we we're talking to the people of Israel, and they were scared, and they're going back. And it's going on day and night. Every day. Day after day. 
day after day. Goliath, Goliath is coming and uh, making announcement. You said one man. Nobody there. Even Saul is suffering. Everybody is suffering. The time come. Lord send David. You know, every children have uh, something. If you send send them when you when you are childhood, when you are your age, when you are in, a, in your, at home, you know the you you're rolling the, the small tear. I say, play me, you play. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. We all do that, right? When your dad said, uh, "Son, go to the store and get something," what do you do? Take the tear and go with that one. Why? Hey, you put it there. You are going to the store again. No, 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 no. I want this one. This is the way all the children are doing. Is that right? But they don't know. They don't know. They don't understand that. We know that. That's what I'm saying. Okay. Exactly the same way what the David did. He took him, taking the bread to the for army. For your pre, his brothers and the for chief of the army. What did he do? He took his staff. He took his sling. He never respect somebody there. But every children take that kind of things. But he have a small care. What is that? He always keep his sling with him. Everybody say, he always keep his sling with him. Ah, that is a fighting thing. You know, whenever I thought, how come, how come David faced the giant before giant, he fight with the uh, lion and the bear? How come? He first he shot with the sling, I guess. It's not in the Bible. Because he knew how to use the, his sling. We always, we have always come in the giant in, our, in front of us. What do you do? What do you have it with you? You have a spare tail? <laughs> Think about it. We always have some something important spare tail like David has it. David, what did he do? He took his sling and he just took self. And we know the old story. I don't want to take all the story to talk about it. When he took everything with the, you know, like his father's order, he went there camp. He knew the Goliath came. He's announcing. His announcement came. And what did David say? Who is this? Uncircus man. Challenging the, uh, the, uh, the army of God. The first word he said that. The word when you speak. That is the first word he speak. When he speak, it's, it is not. It's, this, that is the thing we need to understand that. You, when you solve the problem, don't talk about the problem. Everybody talking about the problem. We always have the problem. You have the problem. You have the problem. You have the problem. Everybody have it. They are all problems. Even when I went to my, my son's house, the little one, the smallest one, the two, two months or three, four, four six months old, they have, she have the problem. Is that right? She, even though she don't know how to explain it, but she will cry and she will say, I have a problem. You need to solve it. So, what do we have to do? We have to take the slings off. Before Amen. that, you have to talk. Yes. Talking to the problem. Amen. He talked to the problem. Who is this uncircumcised man? Come again, Mr. You are me off? Almighty, the Lord of hosts. See, but you know what he said? Goliath said, you are the army of Saul. That is the problem. They believe they are the army of Don't think you are an army of Pentecostal people. 
Don't think you are the army of somebody. Yes. Lord. You are not the army of Pastor Dado. Yes. Lord. You are the army of God Almighty. Everybody say, I am the army of the God Almighty. My God is the, the Lord of hosts. Yes. He fight for us. Amen. So you have to recognize him all the time. When the enemy comes, you don't know what time. When, whenever the, your life you go going through, the, hour, the enemy will, will show up. You know why the enemy is showing up? He, the Lord wants to make you in another step. Amen. In a higher, higher level. If you want to get an, a higher level, you have to go through the test. Amen. When you go through the test, don't get afraid. Don't get upset. Amen. And you, you have to say, I'm going to the another level. Amen. Higher Amen. level. Higher this level. is a higher level we have to think. Situation is going to make you at a higher level. Everybody says situation is going to make me at a higher level. Situation is going to make me at a That higher. will overflow in my life. Amen. Overflow make when you get the higher level. Yes, Lord. The verse 40. Can you read the verse 40? The verse 40. Uh huh. Chapter 17, the verse number 40. Uh huh. The Bible said, and he took his staff in his hand. He took his staff in his hand and chose him five smooth stones. Uh huh. Out of the he blue. knew where he, where he can find the stone. He doesn't carry the stone. Everybody says he doesn't carry the stone. He doesn't carry the stone. Star, stone you can find anywhere in the world. Uh -huh. But sling you cannot carry. You can find it. Everybody says sling you cannot find it. Sling you cannot find it. You can find the stone. Uh -huh. But he don't. He he have to carry the sling. The sling. You have the tongue. That's Amen. the biggest sling. Amen. The will of God is in your heart. When you, when, when you throw a stone, when you throw a stone, it's a fiery stone. Yes, Lord. Where is saying, Bible saying, the word of God is a fire. It's like a hammer. Uh -huh. It's break, it's burn. Yes. And it's live. Amen. And it's active. Amen. It's a steward sword. Shepherd. And when you carry that one, you have a sling in your mouth. Amen. Everybody say, I have a sling in my mouth. I have a sling in my mouth. And I will throw this, sto this stone. And I will throw this stone. You can, we have to search the stone. Amen. Smooth stone. Everybody say smooth stone. Smooth stone. He, smooth, he took the smooth stone from the valley. Everybody say, he took the smooth stone from the valley. Mm -hmm. And took the stone and then what happened? And put them in the shepherd's bag, uh -huh. which he had, uh -huh. even in the script. Uh -huh. And his sling was in his hand. Sling was in his hand. Uh -huh. And he drew near to okay. the Philistines. That's, that's enough. That's enough. What happened on that day? They get overflow. They, fi they finish Philistines and they, they all the spoil they have it. The overflow. Their life. Everybody was happy because of his sling. Hello. Amen. Because of his sling. Because of his sling. And because of his word. Amen. The word is very important. And we always have the sling, but we don't use the sling. Yes. The word. Amen. Put the word on your sling and point out the enemy. Amen. And fire it. Amen. And showed it. That's what I'm doing all the time. Jesus. That is what I'm teaching the people. Amen. That's the kingdom principle. Yes, Lord. That's the principle of kingdom. Amen. Don't tell the Lord. He never talked to the Lord. Lord, we have an enemy we standing before me, but Goliath is standing over here. Do something. Did he say that? No. Did he cry up? What did Jesus say? He takes all the crying people out from the his in the front room. of him. He went to the he went Jairus daughter. 
Yes. Everybody was crying and weeping. And what did the Lord say? Out! You have not nothing to do with this one. Out from the house. Then he went to the body. See, all the people will say, you cry, cry, cry. He cries. The Lord does not like when you have a problem to cry. Uh -huh. You have stand before the problem and Speak. took to your sling and fiery dart are coming from enemy. You got to stop it and you fire. Amen. What did he do? Fiery dart is coming from the enemy. David said, hey, you come with your name of your Lord, but I'm coming the name of Lord of hosts. Today I'll kill you. Amen. I take off your head. Yes, Lord. See, then on that day, his name in a higher level. Amen. And his step, he got a, he too as a stepping stone. Yes, Lord. Everybody say he was, he too as a stepping stone. He was a stepping stone. The enemy give him the stepping stone or not? I saw so many people are crying. The problem. That is your stepping stone. Amen. That will be the overflow in your life. Yes, Lord. And still, how many years? 4,000 years passed. Still talking about the yep. same thing. Amen. Okay, next one. How many of you want the overflow in your life? This year. This is a year of overflowing. Amen. This is a year of overflowing. What are you looking for? Yes, Lord. Yesterday, last night, no, Friday night, I was preaching. And uh, I asked one of the pastors in Dallas, and he is con uh, conducting the meeting, you know, on, online. He knew the overflow of my life. He is he's, uh, he's doing a lot of things. And he understand that what is going on in my life. You know, I don't, I don't keep anything secret in my life. I don't have no secret. Everything is open. open. Because I have an open heart. I have a sincere heart. I keep it open. Man. I don't have nothing to hide it myself. So, next one. First King, so second King, chapter 4. Verse 1 and 2. 2 Kings, the chapter number 4. The verses 1 and 2. Now there cried a certain woman of the wives of the sons of the prophet unto Elisha, saying, Thy servant, my husband, is dead. And thou knowest that thy servant did fear the Lord. And the creditor is come to take unto him my two sons to be bad bondmen. Sorry. Two. And Elisha said unto her, What Elijah shall I said to her? What, what shall I do what for you? What shall I do for you? Uh -huh. hey, listen, that's a question. What shall I do for you? Uh -huh. You have to do something. Yes. Your husband, right? Uh -huh. what, what shall I do? I'm going to marry you? <laughs> I'm going to find an husband for you? Yes. I have to take care of your children? No. What, what I shall I do for you? The next one. Tell me. Tell me what, what you have it. What hast thou in the house? What do you have it? Uh -huh. Tell me. I can't do anything for you, but what you have it? That's what everybody say. Everybody is saying, Oh Lord, I don't have nothing. You have everything. You can do everything. Is that that's a prayer that people are praying? Is that a prayer? Yeah. What I say is always that's a begging prayer. The Lord does not like any burglars over there. He is looking for the kings. Everybody say he is looking for the kings. He is looking for the king. Not the beggars. Amen. And then what she said? I have a pot of oil. What, she, what the Elijah said? Uh -huh. That's more than enough. You will overflow. Amen. You will overflow. Amen. There is another lady in Sarafat. Jesus talked about her. 
So there was a several widows who was in the in the in the, in the Jew, Jewish, Jewish colony, yeah. Israel. But Lord not send any prophet Elijah to anybody. She he we sent to the Sarafat. But one widow. You know why? Because whatever she has it, she will give. Amen. And there is an overflow. Amen. Let the life of your love of your, your life and the church life will be overflow in this year. And may God bless you richly and abundantly. Thank you, Pastor. Thank you. Amen. Amen. God bless you, Pastor. God bless you. We appreciate it. I tell him that anytime he shows up, I love to sit and then listen to the word of God. Somebody has preached and let me listen. Amen. That is, that is the word of God for you. Amen. And I believe, I believe even as as we've listened to the word of God, our lives never going to remain the same. I didn't, I didn't tell today I was going to preach, so I will take it next to <coughs> And preaching is, is so, it was coming from the book of Matthew, the chapter number 30, the verses number 25 to the verse number 30. And he was talking about when the enemy come, what you are supposed to do. He says, take the spare wheel. And it's short. And the man of God is saying that we have a slate in our mouth. The Bible says that life and death lies in the power of the tongue. If you want to kill, the slate is in your mouth. Just take the stone from where? The law and apply it. The Lord said that no enemy shall rise against thee. And in judgment, you shall condemn any thought, any imagination. Take the stone and sling it to the enemy. I want you to begin to pray. Take the spare wheel and you will enjoy overflow this year. Just begin to pray. Kata pata yata. Raka pali mabe. Sipa na na ta ta ta. Yifa loka pata 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 pata. Zapa la bala bra. Zata ta ta pa. Libi kapa. Raka pali mabe. Lepe ne kata ya. Raka pali mabe. Lepe la ba. Father, we thank you for today. We are grateful. And Elijah said unto the woman. What shall I do for thee? Tell me. What hast thou in the house? You need to have something. And that sometimes I read the scriptures and I love it. Because sometimes we think that we need to have it all. In order to be able to progress, to increase. But what you have is all that God needs. And in this example, the woman don't have anything with the exception of a pot of oil. The other one had what? A barley, something small, of flour. In the case of Elijah, Elijah said, no, what you have is okay. Just take care of God's business and God will take care of you with what you have. The man of God said that his great-grandfather, his grandfather, and his father and mother was giving all they had to God. And they were able to build inheritance. He was playing smart. Did not give what he had. He had nothing to show in his name. No inheritance. Even that when the great-grandfather left for them, they lost it. Meanwhile, they were the ones who were placed by take they were wise. But the Bible says that don't be wise in your own eyes. 
Don't be wise. The little flourish unto us. In the name of Jesus. We pray, grant us that grace and lead us in all dimensions. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. And may all the saints say, Amen. Amen. God bless you, online church. We want to take our offering. The man of God said that he gives at this age, 70 years plus, he gives his first fruit. If you join in, we want to just prompt you that you can continue to follow our page, Living Name Ministries, on Facebook and on YouTube. As you follow, click on that notification button on there so that when we go live, you will receive that prompting and you can join in with one accord. We can what, come together and worship the Lord with songs, with praise, with worship, with prayer, and with a word in the name of Jesus. Today, if you did not hear anything at all, know that for you to be successful this year, you need to take that spare wheel on this journey, that spare tire, that thing that you know that when push comes to shove, you can fall on it. And God will use it to turn your life around. Just hold on to it. And let's get through the year. And God will show his message on us in the mighty name of Jesus. We come your way every Sunday. Amen. Every Sunday, that's 10, 10 central time. We come your way. So I want you to follow us. And next week Sunday, we'll be coming your way same time. And God bless you, online church. And shalom, peace be unto you. Amen.